Wabi Sabi, that's what I was thinking of. I had to look it up. It's very Wabi Sabi. So in reference to just sort of the vibes of the little dojo. Welcome, yeah. welcome back to the uh, carriage plays Suikon 2, and we're gonna go see Nanami. Very nice. Some vases. Some food out. Yeah, you got rooms. None of me sweet and sour pork. Smells good. Huh. So, okay. So, world building. Like, she has food out on the counter. Hopefully doesn't leave it there all day. Uh -huh. But, okay, we have... Look at that room down there. It's like, you know, it's very tidy. It's squared away. Uh, Statesman-like. I don't know. Grandpa's, Grandpa's bed. bed. Not slept in recently. Oh. But, like, it has fresh flowers in it. So, you know, if they you... keep They keep it maintained. Yeah. For him. And then these are our beds. Right. Whoa. What does it say to Nanami's bed? Okay. And then we got a little partition. Your bed. Nice familiar smell. What's a little bizarre is like I can't walk into my bed, but I can walk into Nanami's well, bed. Well, because the the, it's the a bed's not made. Oh. See, it, the sheets are full. The covers yeah. folded up on top. Right. You, so you, you haven't could... been here for a while. Yeah. Little fighting arena down here. They go weapons that look like in there. You got a kitchen. Very nice. Very cool. Fire's not lit. But she must have just gotten done cooking. Sweet and sour pork. Smells good. Am I not me? Uh <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> Great anime. Oh, 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 Carrie! Uh it doesn't really matter. I'm not sure, like, they seem about the same. Yeah. I wonder if it's more, like, a, there's a more pronounced difference in Japanese. Like, one's more casual, one's more... Formal. Uh, I'm back sounds more casual. Okay, back. Ah, uh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Are you okay? Are you okay? You're not hurt? Uh, where have you been? Was everyone really killed? Huh? 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 So yeah. good, so good. Thank goodness, I was so, so worried. Are you really okay? Did you eat anything funny? Was there really a state spy? I heard there was a surprise attack. Surprise attack! They say these spies always work as a pair. Lots of soldiers are hunting for them, so they should catch them soon. Oh, that's right, how's Joey? Is Joey okay? Huh? Huh? Lots of custom animations. Yeah. And you're, it's delivering a lot of like, it's, flavor here. And I think it's like really selling Nanami as, you know, who she is. It's selling her as um, young, naive, loving, goofy, uh, very uh, like physical, very hands on. <laughs> right, yeah. So, really? Thank God. Uh, so you came back together? Together. And like, okay, she stopped to look on the... You could see her thinking about it. What? That's ridiculous. Carrie and Joey spies? That's silly, right? But Captain Round came here and said you should report to him when you came back. <laughs> so she's wagging her finger. Like, God, so many custom animations I don't think you see in the, this whole thing. You don't see in the rest of the game. Yeah, I mean, it's like even like Carrie sitting down. We saw Carrie sitting down from the front before, but I don't remember him sitting down from the side. Yeah. Yeah. And like the music too is so jolly. Yeah, so good. You know what it reminds me of? Uh, the Ron Mo one half music from the anime. Mm hmm. Just so, you know. Let's run away, Carrie. And so she has this like roller coaster of like she's happy to see him. She's like then naively trying to put things together. And then it suddenly is like, we're gone. We gotta go. Yeah. Don't worry, whatever you did, Carrie, I'll always be uh, be here for you. Which also tells you something, is that she like doesn't care if you're a spy or not. Yeah, re regardless, it's... it's like, that's more important. And it's like, well, at, at some level, it's like, hey, have a little faith here. Uh, but then the other, it's like, well, that's so sweet that you could be this horrible person and she'd still love you. Now let's go. 
I also like that, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> it's touching, it's funny, it's hitting me in every, all the right spots. It's like God of War, like, you cracked up on the earth right there. Yeah, but it's telling you it's like how like strong she is, like she's a strong tomboy type. Ah, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I forgot something, over here, Car Carrie. Hey, hey, you've got to say goodbye to Grandpa Genkaku. And is this the confirmation that Grandpa Genkaku is dead? Yeah. I mean, maybe I think it, was, it, it was heavily alluded to. Probably. Because uh, Joey kept saying that not you're only the only one Nanami has left. Oh, I think okay. it's been... He had, yeah. It hasn't been said directly. But I think you would know. Good. Okay, me too. All oh, this music. Grandpa Kenkaku, may, uh, we may never come back here, but always, please always protect Carrie and me. Please. Good. Now we're ready. Okay, let's go. So if you don't, like, I know I've talked to people who played this and hated Nanami. I don't get it. Like, no, it's like, if you yeah, we can just went through that out. whole scene... And like that didn't do any. It's like I don't know. There's n there's no hope for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think you can. Oh, can you click and will she talk about some of this stuff? Oh, no. It seems like she would have specifically mentioned that. All right. Are you gonna pick up a vase? I think you can pick. Up oh. Oh shit. Sorry, John. I didn't know that. I think you can pick up a vase to sell or to keep. Oh. Huh? What? No, no, no! You're Gary, aren't you? We're arresting you as a spy for the city-state of Jouston. Come along quietly. No, I won't let you take him. Gary, get ready. If we do it just like Grandpa taught us, we can't lose. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I like that right away, um, get you into, like, see Nanami in, in battle as, like, a storytelling thing to, like, also soldiers and she's willing to fight with you and protect you yeah and right now this probably isn't really worth it because i just want to see it okay let's do it oh uh, yeah it's it's maybe not the most useful attack in the world but it <laughs> oh did it oh wow it's okay it's that's a rare yeah uh, it's it... doing the alternate version yeah and yeah bizarre it's underlining that she's kind of a goof does it always happen that first time you do no, it? No, I don't think so. Because I, I, think I was just, watching Ben. No, I was watching Ben more from Easy Allies play through Suicune Two, and he did the United Attack on this battle, and she did the that casual version, the alternate version. Oh, maybe so too. Maybe it's like a glitch or something. We don't need to do it again, unless you want to see the. Yeah, let's see the alternate or the the normal. Yeah, which also unbalances her. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Which kind of is, obscured. It's, yeah, it's still pretty cool. <laughs> but like that, that tells you it's like not only somebody who's really powerful, but like she's prone to overdoing it. You know? Yeah, she's putting all of herself into that move. Whereas you're more measured. You're. Uh, your character is more measured. Muku Muku is awesome. Easy rune. I think that makes it harder to hit. Yeah. Probably. Another custom you, animation. Yeah, using sort of before, like early in the game, how they did the technique for shivering. Yeah. Using that. They're, yeah, they're really selling that she's beat. Gary, you're breathing fast. You've been ignoring your training. <laughs> <laughs> Again, funny. And especially since, like, he isn't. <laughs> like, yeah. he's just s perfectly still. Yeah. But, like, that she would think that he's, he's lost his touch a little bit. It's been a long time, Gary. Come along quietly. Do it as a favor for your old captain. Is that the same portrait that he had at the beginning, or is it slightly changed to be more menacing? 
I don't know. Captain, why? Or no. I, you know, the thing is, is in the moment, I wouldn't care why. why? I would just be angry. Alright. You, uh, we've got no choice. We'll have to get rough now. So the first time that we're actually being able to fight Captain Roud, when he he's like more confident when he's got like, uh, what, uh, five people around him? Yeah. Do we want to unite on him or try to kill uh, off the... Let's unite on him. We're just go for him. Yeah. Go for blood. Oh, Holy fuck. Are you supposed to lose? <laughs> I didn't remember. Maybe Nanami was really weak. Or, well, oh, she's, yeah. Uh, didn't have a lot of health or something. That sucks. Uh, shoot. It's mm. too bad we didn't put firewall, equip firewall to uh, the this, hero. Yeah. Shoot. We might die. Dang, dude. Are you supposed to lose? Maybe. Oh, I think you are. Because you get uh, captured. Yeah. Okay. Spoilers. Oh, and this would probably finish us off. Oh, he's oh no, he's just healing. Jesus. <laughs> little, little out of character. I told you to come quietly. I'm gonna turn up the volume so you can still buzz it. Okay, here we go. Good, good. All right. Should be back in order, everybody. Now take them. What do you think about uh, in RPGs a battle that you have to lose? I mean, if it makes sense, if it feels organic, mm -hmm. if it doesn't feel cheap. Because, like, in real life, you're gonna run into unwinnable situations. Yeah, I think like the problem like in games that like um, there'll be like s just oddly specific situations where it's like, oh, I've died to this enemy before or this and it just happened. I had to die in a specific way at this specific point. That was all right, but nowhere else. It's like uh, if they can keep it sort of, um, it would have bothered, I, it might bother me if like you died, say when you were fighting those first round of soldiers. And it like game over. Yeah. That would bug me a little bit, and probably does game over at that. Yeah, I don't know. Like you're right. It's probably something that I wouldn't want to do, or to lean on too heavily. Yeah. Well then, nice, nice pad. Well then, I guess you don't believe me. That's right. Once you were my unworthy son, but no longer. From this day on, you are no longer an Atreides. I Why? Why won't you believe what I say? I'm I'm your son, aren't I? Or is the blood in my veins? I mean, I think this is um, not to kill the moment, but like what we saw from Nanami, Nanami's reaction, her line of, even if you were a spy, it doesn't matter. I still love you. We're running away together. And here's Joey's family, and they're who ready is to blood related to him, right? You know, like this whole idea of like, what well, does blood mean anything, or is it more of like these connections um, that you form? And, and like that's sort of like the the motif of the series, uh -huh. you know, these connections that you form. You know, it's it's not about blood relation. You know, it's there's nothing against it, but like they're forming a like a tighter bond through a, a, a cause. Oh, uh... Um, you read that. It hurts to look at you, Joey. I can't recognize someone who has committed treason as a member of the Artredes clan. Yeah, this guy was ready to cut you. Uh, cut you out. Hey, come. Nice. <laughs> Goodbye, big brother. You're not my big brother anymore. Goodbye, Joey. Complicated. Yeah. Marco's a little... loser. Please, mother, let me see her. Let me talk to Mother. Rosa said she doesn't want to see you. You know, I wonder, like, is that true? You know, and the thing is, I don't think you ever you, find out. You lie. You lie. You lie. <laughs> yeah. you lie. Stop. Let me go. I want to see my mother. <laughs> and, it, like, this scene, I think, really builds to 
um, support, like why Joey is so bitter and angry later on. Yeah. I love that Muku Muku is just in the cage with this. Just a goofball. Yeah, just chilling. Ooh, Carrie, Nanami, they got you too. We did our best, but why do they think you're spies? I'll tell you. Captain. Impressive, surviving that jump into the river. Why did you? Why was the state attack? Who was that man? I'm sorry, Carrie, Joey. That man, Prince Luca Blight of Highland, has great ambitions, and I have ambitions as well. Prince? Why would one of the royalty? Luca Blight needs a sacrifice to achieve his ambitions. The Royal Highland Youth Brigade was massacred by the state. This will be enough to whip the people into a frenzy. So what do you think, little girl? Aren't those city-state monsters just horrible? That, that's... If I thought that Carrie and Joey had been killed by the state... <laughs> typo. I never, uh, I would have never forgiven them, but I didn't know. Exactly. But if it's not found out, a lie becomes the truth. Prince Luca needs to stir up the people to achieve his plans. And I have big plans too. I don't want to be the captain of a bunch of kids. I want a job where I can make some real money. <laughs> real sweetheart. To do that, I need you two to die as a pair of treacherous spies. The truth of what really happened will die with you. That's, that's, you can't do that. For that, for that you killed all my friends, stole their lives. Forgive me, that's all I can say. Well, it's just about time. Captain Rao, the preparations are complete. Well, you two, it's going to be a painful death for the little lady too. Oh well, you can't fight destiny. Damn, you won't get away with this. Yeah, I mean, just like further reinforcing how much of a scumbag. Yeah. I love the... Okay, this is like teasing like the bigger political... Landscape, yeah. Or it could be Jillia. What's all this shouting over here? Over here. Um, <laughs> uh, so something that's like, you know, like a, you, there's a lot of characters that are introduced and if they have a face portrait, you know that they're going to be important to some degree. And, you know, I wonder how many time, how many first players go and, and they see this and they go, oh, okay, I'm going to be recruiting Jillia. Can't wait until I recruit Jillia until she's on our side. But yeah, there, there are plenty of important char like face characters who just aren't part of your army. Mm -hmm. And they're still, like, super important to the narrative. They caught some state spies. They're taking them to the scaffold. I see. They're just children. How can they be spies? Hmm. No. Um. Another RP moment. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of like mixed emotions here because, like, you know, it's not just your life on the line. It's like you'd have to. It's like you know, normally if it were just me, I wouldn't lower myself. Uh huh. But I mean, I don't know. That also seems. Like, you know, do you resign yourself to your fate or, you know, how, pri how proud yeah, are you? Yeah, like in this crowd of people yelling, I'm innocent to somebody who seemingly maybe couldn't do anything anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's a Hail Mary sort of play, you know? Yeah. What, it's your call, Joe. I think we should just be quiet here. Who are you to question me? Uh... I am Princess Jillia of the Blight, uh, uh, Blight Royal I think the, the coachman said it, but it was just translated weird. Oh, like, okay. the, like he was like, this is, and then yeah. they translated it wrong. It's like, yeah. Silence to myself, possibly. No, but you can see she <laughs> yeah, looked yeah. over at the coachman. Yeah, Princess. Yeah. 
Well then, remember this. Carrie and I haven't betrayed this country. This country has betrayed us. I won't forgive this. I cannot. Also, like, you know, her sort of seeming, her portrait being fairly innocent looking and her being some sort of rel relation to Luca Blight, I think is interesting. Yeah. What did you say? Who do you think you're speaking to? It's all right. Let him speak. After all, he hasn't long to live. <laughs> and it's like she's not going to do anything. Well, no, it's like, yeah, why would she? Yeah, because, yeah, and it's like, I think it's setting up, she's not like the, you know, even though her character portrait's a little bit more innocent looking. Yeah, that doesn't necessarily mean that she's, you know, a savior or a saint or something. Yeah. Here's your punishment for betraying your mother country, Highland, and for besmirching the honor of the Unicorn Brigade. Do you have any last words? <laughs> uh... No, I don't. Um... I, I think it's... Let's, let's be petty here. You're a jerk. You're a jerk. Good. <laughs> You've resigned yourself to death. <laughs> and it's like the least, like, Hey, you! Go step on a crayon, you monkey butt! You know, it's just like, it's not even, like, really that insulting. <laughs> You're a jerk. Aw, oh, look at that sunset. Oh, it's the last sunset you'll see. It's gonna be a tough way to go. Can you turn up the volume just a touch? Yeah, and you can even hear... Smack. Well, for me, it's just another sunset. Pay attention to the sound effects, though, as they change. Although I suppose my whole life will change after this sunset as well. I think they change right there because right. they sped up and they stop. They yeah. Oh, oh, up until now, I've been forced to babysit this bunch a uh, bunch of kids. But my bad luck has come to an end. With this on my record, my future is assured. Soon I'll be captain of a real company in this area. Huh? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> He's like so distracted. <laughs> yeah. Like monologuing into the sunset Well, Yeah, like, what a dick. Too bad, but it looks like your path to success just took a detour. Nice. Flick being awesome for like the first time. Well, that you see. Ugh. Ha! Ah, we finally caught you. Hope we didn't interrupt anything too important. You shouldn't have run off like you did. I was so surprised. I like that he's not even engaging Roud. Like he's uh -huh. beneath Victor's notice. He's just worried about these kids. Yeah. Huh? You still don't get it. You two are my prisoners. I can't just give you up so easily. And like this film flimsy excuse to like hike like across the damn country uh -huh. ac over a mountain just to save these like punk kids. Yeah. It's like, yeah. This guy's real nosy. Maybe so. Paul uh, came begging me to pull your chestnuts out of the fire. Uh -oh. Hey, wait! Damn, he ran away. I could have caught him a few years ago. Wait, Wait, Victor's not getting any younger. I think it does, you know, it sort of mentions the events of Sukkot 1, where he was maybe in peak performance. And I mean, like, maybe, like, uh, it's ra sort of, rationalizing his lower level than Sukkot 1, he's... And just like in real life, if you don't exercise, you kind of get out of shape. And, like, he, he, Flick, Flick and Victor, when they're in your party, they're going to... They're gonna be way tougher than you are, but they're not gonna be nearly like end of the Sue Code and One strong. Uh huh. Wait, wait a minute. Nanami, my friend, is being held in the cell. We can't leave her behind. <laughs> Jesus. Oh man. Let's go save Nanami. Yeah. Of course, Carrie. I get it. It looks like fun. Lately, my body has been like lead. What are uh, What are we going to do with you? You've got a habit of sticking your nose in bad places. Um, TMI. <laughs> so Joey, seven. Victor, 20. Flip 20. Bye, Joey. <laughs> yeah. I want Victor next to me. <laughs> <laughs> it should be, you should be between Flick and Victor. Oh, yeah, like they're 
Okay, I'll, I'll move him. Okay, Flick, Joey, Kerry, let's go. Don't charge ahead. <laughs> so he's kind of like, uh, Victor is like grown up non enemy. Oh, this is great. I'm warning you, out of my way. I've got to save Carrie and Joey. Well, and I do like this too. It's like, even if Flick and Victor didn't come to save you, Nanami and Muku Muku would have saved you, <laughs> you know? Like, maybe, I think you would already be dead. Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's so good. I know. Oh, now I'm really mad. In the name of Grandpa Ginkaku, here's the secret golden bird, holy flower, dragon tooth, glory punch. <laughs> I like, I like that Muku Muku does the stance too. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on, Carrie. Joey, I'm coming to save you. That, like, he's part of you that they built. Aww. I, yeah, I love that you don't have to have Muku Muku, but he's just, like, it just adds such a... Yeah, a little, yeah, seasoning. Hold on a minute. Carrie and Joey, what are you doing here? Uh, they were going to execute you. We came to save you. <laughs> huh? What? That's funny. I was going to say a few guys too. By the way, what was that move before? Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> She's so awesome. Alright, full party. I like not even to be. Well, what do we think on the back row? <laughs> RP. Um, Muku Muku between. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. I want Nani behind Victor, too. <laughs> How are we doing for time? Uh, we could call this an episode and then record four batches, or four in a row. Okay, great. All right. Uh, thanks. We'll leave you here, uh, right in the heat of the escape, and we'll see you guys next time. See ya.